Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Today's video is a review on a Morphe palette. So I have not tried this brand before but I know a lot of beauty bloggers have been using it and saying it's a really good value. I got mine from Beauty Bay. It was $40. Uh, you know, which is a little, a little expensive, I thought, for a brand which is meant to be quite a discount brand and for a palette. But, you know, I'm also brought into the consideration of if I brought it from the American website, it would have cost me a hell of a lot more to actually get it to Australia. So first off, having a look at the packaging, it's quite thick. It's a just a nice black box. Uh, you know, the I was fine, like, the, the logo looks a little cheap but maybe that's part of their branding, that they're trying to look a little bit more affordable and more of a not too high-end brand so it's more approachable to a lot of people. So uh, let's open it up and have a look. Okay, so it's got some nice padding inside, so that's pretty good. All right, just gonna pull it out of the sleeve and see what it's like inside. What is that? Uh-oh. I think something's broken inside. Oh, please don't be a lot. Eh. Oh, God. Why am I wearing white? This is the worst colour for if there's going to be a mess. Oh, oh no. Well, I mean, yay, because this is in here. But one of the colours has, unfortunately, one of the pants is smashed in transit. Oh, dear. So, let's have a look. So, I've got a really colourful palette. I want to start playing with... with you know, more bright colours, spring I think, and then going into summer is a really good time to, to give this a go. Um, the colour that's come out is, uh, it's an unfortunate colour because I probably would have used it. It's this one here, obviously. It's come down here. Um, I'm going to have a, maybe a look at a few do-it-yourself kind of um, repairs, see whether I can make this work. This is still sitting in there nicely, it's not cracked up, but half of it's gone. And I'm going to just pop it back in place so it sits there for a little while. Because, uh, I mean, next to it's a really red colour, but this here is more of a pinky red. And I'm like, oh, that seems like a more, more not-so-scary colour. So I'm just going to pop that back in place now. Oh, God, I hope it doesn't crumble in my fingers. Gentle. Okay, that's all right. A little bit came off. Mm. Um, okay, first impressions. Apart from that, you know, I actually have had that problem, ha that problem happen to me with Beauty Bay in the past. I know it's just a long transit from the UK to Australia, but at the same time, they should probably make it. I think repair. I think um, maybe they should, you know, do refunds, or you can send it back if it's broken. I know, just it's not an easy process, and it already takes like three weeks for it to get to Australia. So, oh, anyway, enough of my complaining. It's a really pretty palette. Look at all those colours. Okay, so I have similar palettes from um, other brands, so I mean, first impressions, I like that the pans are really big, you know, you're getting quite a lot of product. Um, in terms of the texture, let's have a go, I'm going to have a look at this shimmery blue here. It looks really pretty, I'm going to give that a go, so swatchy swatch. Oh my god. Okay, so I'll swatch that on the back of my hand. Would you look? And there's leftovers because I really dug my finger in. Oh my god. It, I don't know if you can... Hang on, let's try and make this focus. Yeah, look at that. That is so pretty. Um, if I was to do a comparison um, on the texture, the creaminess is on par with my Lorac Pro palette. That is amazing. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to just swatch a few other colours. So let's have a go. Um, I'll do different colours, like not not all shimmery ones. So maybe. Mm -hmm. And let's do a dark colour. So I've just done four colours. I'm going to do it on the back of my hand here. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, now you can see it. Um, apart from my, my ghetto kind of like that, um, the colours are really good. The payoff's amazing. Um, they're all really creamy. You know, some are more textured and pigmented than the other, but I think that's just due to whether they're more shimmery or more matte. So, for example, this colour here was just a matte silver that I, that I chose, 
whereas the pink was shimmery and this bronzy color here was shimmery and the black was matte so that's fairly consistent with what I expected and I cannot wait to do crazy looks with this this is going to be so exciting once I repair the palette so um, I think this is amazing I noticed that I've seen Morphe on ozsale.com have a look on their website in their beauty section they usually have quite a few gems there but the sales are limited they just go for a few days and then they expire but they usually always come back so there's good value there if you're wanting more fee a lot quicker because it's in within Australia but you have to wait till the sale ends and then the supplier gets the order and then sends it out to you so uh, that's one option otherwise Beauty Bay is a really good option avoid Morphe's website in America because I mean, the further away it has to come from, the more likely it may be damaged in transit. And of course, the Australian dollar is not very good at the moment. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. It was just a quick first impressions. Um, I just wanted to share with you what I what I bought, and I was really excited about it. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you for my next video. Bye.